find all prime numbers less than or equal to n where n is the input number so given an input number n we have to write a code to print all prime numbers less than or equal to n and what is prime number a, a number which has only two divisor one and itself for example two is a prime number three is a prime number five is a prime number seven is a prime number etc so now uh, let's say if the number is eight is it a prime number no so eight can be divisible by one can be divisible by eight can be divisible by two and four so it's not a prime number a number which satisfy following a condition which is divisible by one and itself is known as prime number and two is the only even prime number so uh, now let's say if the input number is 10 so uh, what what are the prime numbers which is less than or equal to n so it is 2 3 5 and 7 if the input number is 15 so let's print all the prime numbers up to 15 which is 2 3 5 7 11 and 13 so in this tutorial i am going to disc i am going to discuss an algorithm which is known as sieve algo to print or generate all prime numbers which is less than or equal to n so let's see how this algorithm uh, generate all the prime numbers from 1 to n let's assume we have to find all the prime numbers which is less than or equal to 10 so to find the fi uh, prime numbers using sieve algorithm let's uh, the first step is to if the value of n is 10 then let's create an array of size n plus 1 so the value of n is 10 so we have to create an array of size 11 so let's create an array of size 11 so prime number starts from 2 so first prime number is 2 so let's start from second index and mark all the indexes as true so let's assume all the numbers from 2 to n is a prime number and let's forget about index 0 and 1 and now we have declared this array uh, using this statement so the default value of uh, these two indexes are false and let's for meanwhile let's forget about these two indexes and from 2 to n which is 10 let's assume all the numbers are uh, prime numbers uh, and we have uh, done this operation using uh, this code then let's pick uh, 2 so 2 is a prime number so all its multiple are not a prime number so 4 is not a prime number 6 is not a prime number 8 is not a prime number 10 is not a prime number so let's cancel out and or mark false all these indexes let's mark false let's put false here and you can see this code uh, here so we run a loop from 2 to number divided by 2 which is 5 so let's uh, discuss this point later and if uh, the index if uh, if this index is a prime which is true then let's go to uh, this code and let's see so uh, the value of j is 2 so it start from 2 and here uh, are the condition which is 2 cross 2 so 4 is less than equal to num which is 10 yes so let's mark its multiple 4 as false then in next iteration the value of j is 3 so 3 cross 2 which is 6 and it is less than uh, the input number which is 10 so uh, let's mark the uh, let's go to this index 6 and mark as false and then in next iteration the value of j is 4 so and the value of p is 2 so 4 cross 2 uh, which is 8 so let's go to uh, that index and mark as false similarly in next iteration the value of j is 5 so let's go to 5 cross 2 which is at index 10 and mark uh, this index as false now after that we came out of this loop and in next iteration the value of p is 3 so 3 is a prime number so now uh, the value of j is 3 and the value of p is uh, also 
3 so 3 cross 3 which is 9 is less than equal to uh, num so let's go to that index so go to 9 this index and let's cross uh, let's mark as false so we already marked 6 so 6 is also a multiple of 3 so we already marked as false so we put this conditions uh, so that we never visit uh, already marked number again so we already marked 6 as false so we don't need to visit on this index again now the next number is uh, 4 so it is false so it's not a prime number so this condition is false and the next number is 5 so 5 is a prime but let's see so the value of j is 5 and the value of j uh, cross p so the value of p is also 5 5 cross 5 25 which is less than num no so we don't need to uh, uh, visit the multiple of 5 so the multi there are only uh, there is only one multiple of 5 which is 10 and which is already marked false so this condition ensures that uh, we don't need to visit uh, the same number again and again so now uh, we have uh, we are done with this loop and we have already marked all the multiples of a number uh, false in this uh, uh, in this array now uh, let's iterate uh, this array and check uh, each number check the index of a number whether it's a true or false if it's true then it's a prime number and if it's false then it's not a prime number so let's print all the number uh, whose index is true so the number are 2 3 5 and 7 so now we have found all the prime number prime numbers which is less than or equal to 10 let's understand why we run this loop from 2 to n by 2 so if the value of n is 10 so why we run this loop from 2 to 5 and not from uh, not from 2 to 10 so the reason being so uh, in this uh, using sieve algorithm what uh, we are doing is we are picking each prime number and then we are cancelling all its multiple so we are marking all the multiples of a number as false so let's say after 5 the next prime number is 7 and its multiple is 14 so we are finding a prime number uh, which is less than or equal to the value n and now it's 10 so the multiple of 14 does not exist in this array so what's the point of taking those number whose multiple does not exist in this array so that's the reason we run this loop from 2 to n by 2 and we can further optimize uh, this condition by taking the square root of number so even uh, we can further optimize uh, this condition so that's the reason we run uh, a loop from 2 to uh, n by 2 and not from 2 to n let's talk about its time complexity and its time complexity is n cross uh, log log n and let's uh, dry run this code uh, so let's generate all the prime number which is less than or equal to 15 so let's uh, let's run this code and if I run this code see the output as 2 3 5 7 11 and 13 so these are the numbers uh, uh, these are all the prime number which is less than or equal to 15 I mean all the prime numbers between uh, 2 to 15 so uh, uh, and that's it for this video tutorial and for more such programming video tutorial you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video